Okay, I want to explain geometry menu. In a geometry menu, we have some, uh, some categories that I've explained them uh, one by one. Here in the brick category, we have uh, four brick tools. The first is brick geometry. As you can see, this is on one geometry. For example, in Cinema 4D, I uh, designed them in three cube that export them in OBJ. <coughs> when you connect them and uh, connect them to the one object and insert, for example, a sim lab, as you can see, this is in imported by one object. But I know that there are three separate objects. For uh, make them separate, you can brick geometry. If you select it and brick geometry, and as you can see, it's cut, it's uh, se separated <coughs> brick and mm, separated to the three objects, three, three individual objects. Another brick is brick faces. As you can see, it's the one uh, unique object, but if you click on a brick faces as you can see it's separated to its faces okay okay <clears throat> another brick is brick by uh, section plane if you go into the create menu and insert a section plane here as you can see we have a section plane here oh sorry you can uh, brick or uh, disconnect uh, any object with this section plane. First, you have to select your desired object and go into the geometry and brick box section plane. And after that, if you uh, delete the section plane, and as we can see, this object brick by its section plane to the two objects. Another brick is brick instance. As you can see, if you select this object and here you can copy instance object. The instance object is if you give a material or properties to the object, it's go align all object. You can select any object that you want and brick instance or select all of them and brick the instance. Okay, this is brick category. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.